Hello everyone, Nick again here with Scog and Nicky. Today's technical video is going to be talking about the Trailblazer SS intake swap on your early style Silverados. Now, if you saw our dyno video, we did a 5.3 cam shootout with some of our in-house grinds, and we also decided to test what we thought was kind of a bit of an internet myth. You see, everybody's been saying that if you go from the old style intakes that you found on like the 99 to 06 pickups, and put on the new style intake that you'd find on the 07 and newer body style pickups, or more commonly the Trailblazer SS, which it's been nicknamed, that it would help you pick up power. And what we found out was that if you had a stock 4.8 or a 5.3 and it's just got some you know, headers and an intake, it actually didn't pick up any power at all. It didn't lose any anywhere actually, but it didn't pick up any either. It did pick up 25 horse and about 20 pound feet of torque on one of our cammed ones. So it's definitely a worthwhile upgrade for you guys that are modifying your 5.3s or even your 6 liters. So we're gonna go over what it takes to swap one of these on your 99 to 06 style truck or SUV, or of course, if you guys have swapped one of these into a classic car, this can be a good upgrade as well. So we're gonna go over some of the, some of the fitment issues with these. A lot of this is actually pretty bolt on, pretty plug and play. There are a couple things though that depending on what application you have, it might just be a matter of buying parts or finding them at the junkyard, or it might be a little bit of custom work on your end. Now this swap isn't exactly something new. It's actually been around for quite some time. A lot of us have done it here at work, actually on our own personal vehicles. And you can find information online, but we wanted to document it here in one nice organized video so we got all the answers for you. First one is mounting. <clears throat> This intake manifold was on a cathedral port cylinder head, and so was this. These bolt down just the same. They actually use the same intake bolts. They also use the same intake manifold gaskets. None of the knock sensor wiring underneath gets in the way, as well as your oil pressure sensor in the back. When it comes to taking this off of your truck engine and putting on the Trailblazer SS style intake, it bolts right up. So that's it, the easy part. We start to get into some fitment issues though when it comes to fueling. Now, you might try to use the fuel rails off of your truck on the new style intake to save yourself a buck. I can go ahead and tell you, it just won't work. We've actually tried it a few times because we're doing the same thing. You do have to find the matching fuel rail. So it doesn't matter if you decide to buy this from us or even if you pull one from the junkyard, that's all right too. It's just an intake manifold. You find them in great shape all the time. Make sure you get the fuel rail. It can be an added cost that you didn't plan for. So make sure you grab the fuel rail. I will say when it comes to fuel connections, it's easy for most of y'all. If you have an 03 to 06 or the 07 Classic, you have a returnless style fuel rail just like the new intakes do. And it's actually the exact same style connection. So that nice quick disconnect fuel filtering one time on the fuel rail, you take it off, swap the intake on, it plugs right back on. What gets complicated is the 99 to 02 Silverado guys. Now, this is a intake that had a return style fuel rail on it. So it had an inlet and had a slightly smaller outlet on it. You unfortunately can't adapt that to the new intake. You have to convert your truck to a returnless style fuel system. This requires a little bit of customization on your part, but it's not bad. It's been well doc documented online. I've done it myself. It took me an afternoon to do. Our fuel filter kit is what I used on my truck, the one that has two inlets and one outlet, or should I say one inlet, a return, and an outlet. So that way you can utilize the connection up here while not having to mess too much with your fuel tank or fuel pump setup. You just mess with the fuel lines on the frame rail. Next is the vacuum hose on the back of the intake for your power brakes. Sometimes you'll find some of these intakes like I did, and it actually had a little plug in place of that hole in the back. Now, don't try to force these plugs out. There's actually a little red ring retainer here that you just press back with either a screwdriver, your fingernail, and you gently pull these out. Please don't make the same mistake I did. I actually forcibly pulled one of these out with a pair of pliers when I was first learning about this the hard way. And what happens is, is that the teeth inside here that retain this little plastic plug are made out of metal. They'll gouge really hard right there on the surface and it will not seal on the O-ring inside. I chased a vacuum leak for two weeks until I finally figured out it was something that I had done. Please learn from my mistake, don't do that. If you end up with one of these intakes and it has this plug on the back and you need to hook a hose up to it, the good news is, is that both of these are the same on the back end. 
Same thing, little red re retaining ring here, and there's a hose connection you pull out of the back. Heck, half the time it's easier to pull that out instead of the hose off of the nipple. So pull that out, reinsert in there, another easy changeover, just don't do the same thing I did. The next thing is going to be your PCV hose. They're actually in the same location, kind of top and center here. The old intake had a bit of a nipple here for a rubber hose to go onto your driver's side valve cover in the rear where a PCV valve or an orifice little tube would be. The new style intake actually uses this real fancy O-ring sealed, all plastic molded like twist lock hose. It has a very nice little bend in it that clears all this stuff nicely. It will not connect to your other valve cover. Most guys just cut that off, put a nice little piece of hose on there, clamp it up. Another customization you have to do where there's no off the shelf part, but again, very easy. Another question we get on these, it's really big, is the MAP sensors, manifold air pressure sensors. They are different between these two intake manifolds and how they fit, how they are retained, and even how they work electrically. So this is the best solution that we see where most people have the success. It was also what we did on our dyno video in the room behind me. It's also what I did on my personal truck. This is what the O-ring looks like on the old style intake. You will take this sensor out and get it to fit the new style intake. One of the tricks to this is, in these little ridges right here, you can put a little black O-ring that you can get at your local hardware store or auto parts store to make sure you don't have a vacuum leak in here. And it seals up because these are different bores between the two of them. You can see this one has an O-ring here. Unfortunately, you can't use that O-ring. I tried that and it was, not, it, was a, it was a failure. So don't do what I did on that one. A lot of guys see these and they say, well, they're both three pin electrical connectors. Can I not just, you know, buy the connector pigtail and adapt it onto my harness? You can, but then you have to adjust the scaling and the tune. These read differently. So you can do that. Make sure you and your tuner are well aware of it so they can adjust accordingly. Most guys adapt the old one to the new intake and have a lot better success. So that would be our recommendation there. Also saves you a little bit of money in case yours didn't come with a map sensor. You can just reuse yours instead of buying another one. <laughs> the next is gonna be the throttle body connections. Now, your 99 to 02 guys, y'all got kind of a bum rap on the, on the fuel system. You have to convert from a return style to returnless. Well, you catch a break on the throttle bodies because it's cable throttle body. It's easier and cheaper to adapt this. There's two ways to do it. I'll tell you about one that's extremely cheap, but we don't recommend it. Your old throttle body is a 78 millimeter with a three bolt connection. They make adapters like Holly, ICT, Billet. There's, there's a bunch of people that make adapters to adapt your old throttle body on the newer four bolt intake on the, the, the snout on the Trailblazer SS. That's 90 millimeters. It'll handle up to a 92 millimeter throttle body. The whole benefit of this swap is performance. As you can see, the body of this intake manifold is much smaller than this one. The plenum volume where all these runners meet inside is much bigger. The runners themselves are bigger and shaped better. And of course, it's a bigger throttle body snout. You can do that and it'll run fine. It's not gonna run bad. I don't even think you'd lose any performance. The problem is, is that the whole reason that you're doing this is that you're wanting to do a performance upgrade. So what we would recommend is grabbing one of these Nick William throttle bodies here. This is what I put on my personal truck. These are really high quality, all billet pieces. They're made here in the US and I love it. It's definitely worth the money. It's, they use a, uh, the stock, TPS sensor, they use the stock IAC sensor. Everything bolts on and hooks up just fine. I will say where it gets interesting here again is that you have to find a way to adapt the throttle cable. All these intakes were used on drive by wire while your old intake was cable. You can't move this bracket over here. There's nowhere to bolt. A lot of people get pretty ingenious with their adaptations. A simple adaptation that we have here is actually a bracket that's made specifically for the Nick Williams throttle bodies. It actually bolts to the back of the throttle body here. I will say this is technically made for the LS3 intake for guys that were doing a cable on like an old swap. So you do have to grind down the corners here. I did it real easily. It, it makes it a much cleaner install. It looks, it looks real factory, real OEM, which is what I like on my personal truck. Now, for the drive-by wire guys, you 03 to 06 Silverados. For that, you are gonna have to use the newer style intake uh, throttle body. 
you will have to use what most people call like a gold blade. It's what you'd find on an LS3, the stock Trailblazer SS, or of course the newer style trucks. But, and I'm sure you've already looked into this, there is an electrical adaption issue. You have a six pin throttle body. You have an eight pin harness. What do you do? We sell the X-Link adapter that converts those together. You can't put a simple pigtail between the two of them. You have to convert the pins and the signal, which is what this little pill inside of this container does. Grab this from us. You do have to do some custom tuning to adapt all the signals, but this is the middleman that gets it all done. I really hope I've answered all your questions on swapping from the older style intakes to the Trailblazer SS intakes. We try to do our best here to answer questions for you on these LS engines. They're very simple when it comes to swaps or performance upgrades. Unfortunately, we hear a lot of people say the reason they went to a carb setup on an LS is because some of this was a little too daunting. If you have any further questions about this, if some of this was a little too confusing, don't overwhelm yourself, give us a call. We wanna help you figure out what to do to adapt things properly for either your swap or your built Silverado, what have you. S save the money, do it right the first time, call us, We're, we've been doing this for years, we've got a great team of guys. If you would, also please give us a, you know, a like, a subscribe, and a share on Facebook and YouTube. We're putting out videos almost every week now. Uh, also, if you have any more ideas, we, we've actually kind of come up with a few ideas for future videos from some of y'all's comments. We really appreciate it very much. Questions and concerns about different builds and different things. Please let us know in the comment section below this video. We really appreciate you guys stopping by and we'll see you next week. Thanks.